Hey guys, how the hell are you? Time for an all new unbiased gear review on this, the new Sentinel Bridge Humbucker from Elysian Pickups. So first, quickly, a little bit of specs on this before we go into the tone demo. This is a new bridge humbucker from Adam at Elysian Pickups. This is the Sentinel. It is a base price of $165 with a variety of custom options available for you. It is two Alnico 5 rails in here. It's wound with 43 AWG. It has a DC resistance of 13.8. And yeah, enough about the specifications. Let's just get right on into the tone demo. So for the purposes of this tone demo, I'm using an instrument that Adam so graciously loaned me that has that bridge pickup loaded into it. We are running it into my Marshall JCM 900, which is about right up here in reference to the overall view that you guys have right here. I do have a Protone Dead Horse Overdrive in front, but it is currently switched off. Right now, we've just got the regular tone that I always have set up on that amp so that you guys can hear what this thing sounds like. And then in a minute, I'll kick on the overdrive so you can hear how it tightens up in the high gain realms. So first, high gain with no overdrive in front. <laughs>
let's kick on the overdrive. So overall, my final thought on this new pickup, wow, this thing is a screamer. So it is what it is. It's something that's a take on a little bit more of a classic design. You take a look at this and instantly you're gonna think of a DiMarzio X2N. Maybe a little by extension, you might even think of Bill Lawrence designs, but it is a Rails humbucker. As such, it's got a lot of top-end brightness. It's got a ton of attack. It honestly makes for some screaming lead playing in that bridge position. So if you're one of those guys that's a toll shredder, doesn't necessarily need the neck pickup, you love just that awesome classic 80s hair metal sound, this will get you there. This will get you there quickly. Also, it does a lot of great old school tones too. Run this thing through, of course, a Marshall valve state and you do get the death tone pretty effortlessly. Run this thing in through like a Boss HM2, running it into a Mesa triple rectifier. I'm getting a lot of brutal tones out of this without sacrificing definition and no clarity. Hey, that's a fucking win, if you ask me. I mean, is it something that we haven't seen before? Not necessarily. I mean, you take a look and there is a slight bit of an aesthetic difference here in that the tuned aperture design kind of lends itself to one end of the rail being wider than the other end, which is a little bit different, which is a little bit interesting. I don't want to necessarily offer conjecture on how that works. Adam would be a much better person to talk to about that. But yeah, I absolutely loved this humbucker. I thought it sounded absolutely killer. Thank you, Adam, for loaning me this instrument that was loaded with it so that I could check it out. And yeah, I think you guys should definitely hit him up and see what he can wind for you. But Arnold, what are you drinking today? I am so glad that you asked. From Abbe de Saint Bonchien, I am having... Uh, honestly, I don't know what the product name on this really is. I haven't really looked it up too much. It was just something that looked interesting at a bottle shop, so I picked it up. Handcrafted Swiss Ale de Garde, limited edition ale aged in oak barrels. This is 11% alcohol by volume, brewed in 2019. So this has sat in the bottle and aged uh, for a little bit here. Now, being that this is a higher ABV, I would expect this to have matured a little bit in the bottle. And let's see if I'm right on that. Pours out kind of a nice reddish golden color. Uh, the lighting is being a little bit tricky with the camera, but I promise you this is more of like kind of like a reddish gold uh, here in the room. Definitely a little sour. I can smell that uh, in the air already. Nice and fruity. A little bit of fig, dried peach, dried apricot. But there's definitely a sour note in there. Oh man, this uh, is probably gonna be awesome thanks to that oak barrel aging. Let's give this a shot, cheers. Oh, is that tart. Oh, but it's good. That is quite nice. So all of the fruit notes come through big and bold into the palate, but the tartness is not really there on the aroma. It's there in a big way on the palate though. 
So yeah, from Abbe de Saint Bonchien, this is a Swiss ale, and honestly, this is rather tasty. So thank you guys so very much for tuning in. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to this channel. There's tons more of metal and guitar-oriented content to come. And as always, remember, take what you do seriously, but do not take yourselves too seriously.